hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go if he's not going to fight sean porter now and of course we heard him talk about even going to middleweight and fighting someone like Canelo Alvarez. Now, I know a lot of fans believe that that's a crazy jump, a crazy move for Terrence Crawford, but realistically, if he's not going to fight Daryl Spence or... Hey, it's the Empire, Geoboxing Empire, back from boxing. Now, man, you guys heard it, man. You guys heard it, man. You know, Dante, Dante's Boxing Nation, man, the, the most highest subscribed YouTube channel that talks boxing on a daily basis, man. The most reputable, reputable source says, man, Terrence Crawford, man, if 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 you don't fight uh, Sean Porter or Earl Spence, he, he's gonna go up and fight uh, Canelo Alvarez at middleweight. Now, this is wild stuff, man. This is some uh, Earl. This is some Carol Brook, uh, Amir Khan type shit, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. You know, when people start talking about fighting Errol Spence Jr., motherfuckers start talking reckless. You know, I'll fight. I'll fight Satan before I fight Errol Spence. I'll fight. I'll fight him first. You know, it's, motherfuckers start getting hysterical, man. It makes no sense. What are you talking about fighting Canelo Alvarez for at middleweight? It makes no sense. And, and, and we seen it happen. Uh, motherfuckers would really do some shit like that. They, these welterweights would be like, you know, I'll, I'll fight Canelo and, and get stopped and get their eye socket broken and, and, and get fucked up because they're scared to fight these PBC fighters. You know, it's crazy, man. When people, when these people start talking about these top elite level PBC fighters, people start getting hysterical. They they, they start talking crazy. They start, they start just acting out of character. You know, I would never thought. You know, this uh, this guy, Terrence Crawford, talking about fighting a Canelo Alvarez because he don't want to fight no Sean Porter and he, or, or he, he don't want to fight no Errol Spence Jr. You know, at that point, that's a clear duck. I'm sorry. Uh, he, if he don't fight Sean Porter next, if that's not his next fight, he's, I, I can't respect, I don't care if he fights Canelo Alvarez. I don't respect that. You know, people still wonder to this day how Cub Brook would have did if he didn't fight Triple G and went up to middleweight. Or if Mir Khan never went went up to middleweight again to fight a uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez and got completely stopped, you know, people wonder. Yeah, you know, and I and I don't want to hear how that same situation with Terence Crawford fighting the light heavyweight fucking former world champion <laughs> Canelo fucking Alvarez. That shit's crazy, man. It's crazy, and I, I'm just really shocked, man, that he even say something like that. You know that that you know it was cool, you know, a couple years back, but now we we seen the results, and it's not really shocking. These welterweights are not only going to get beat, but they're going to get hurt. You know, hurt. Uh, Kell Brooks hurt permanently from that, from that fight. And and Khan, Khan, you know, Khan had chin problems, but you know, getting knocked out like that cold that has residual effects. Period. We don't want to see the same thing with Terence Crawford, undefeated, uh, undisputed champion at 140, current uh, WBO champion at welterweight. You know, Kell Brook was undefeated too when he fought Triple G at the higher weight class at middleweight. There's no reason to sell your O. I mean, at that point, you're talking about fighting a middleweight. It's been done. You're basically talking about selling your O for 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 a payout. So this is crazy stuff, man. You know, I never thought that him fighting Sean Porter would cause him to say something like, "I'll fight Canelo Alvarez." You know, if that fight don't happen, like, what do you what are you talking about Canelo Alvarez? There's plenty of big names at welterweight. It doesn't need to be just Earl Spence Jr. You know, you got. You got like you got. He already talked about Sean Porter. You got Sean Porter. You got Danny Garcia. You got Keith Thurman. You got Manny Pacquiao. Even if uh, some fighters are hurt, like a Keith one time Thurman, you can at least say, "Hey, I will fight that guy" or something. Like it's just the fact that you're not even talking about it is sort of is, is shocking. And and you're talking about guys who are three weight classes above you right now, man. You know, if 147 is one weight class, and then above him is 154, and then you got 160, and you got 168, light heavyweight. That's actually four weight classes. You know, uh, Canelo Alvarez just knocked out Kovalev last year. He's four weight classes above Terrence Crawford. He should, Terrence Crawford shouldn't even be talking about uh, Canelo Alvarez. See, the difference between uh, Kell Brook when he fought Triple G was Triple G never went above middleweight, period. He never went, never, never went, never went above middleweight. And um, same thing with Amir Khan. Amir Khan, when he fought Canelo Alvarez, Canelo Alvarez at the time never fought above middleweight. I think he may have a, a catchweight at, uh, before uh, he fought Chavez Jr. at 164, but, but still, that's a catchweight fight. But the fact of the matter is he never fought for a belt past 160. You know, these are facts. The facts. These are he, They're talking about pure, legit middleweights. At this point in um, 
Canelo's and Chipper G career, it's been a while, and these guys are bigger than middleweights now. So, I mean, calling them out is, is, is even more dangerous than it was before. You know what I mean? Th- th- this is a... This is a Carol Brook move right here. This is the Amir Khan move. And this is extremely dangerous for Terrence Crawford to be talking like this, man. He's getting, he's getting hysterical. You know, he sounds like he's possessed by some demon. <laughs> he's just talking, talking about he'll fight Satan before he'll fight Sean Porter. I mean, talking about fighting Canelo Alvarez is just, it doesn't make any sense right now. He'll get stopped. He'll, he'll get stopped for sure. I don't care how good you are. You're going to get stopped. Right, facts, facts. I don't care who. I, I want someone to tell me that Terrence Crawford can beat some Canelo Alvarez. No, nah, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. So that that being said, you know, I think he's serious when he talks like that because we we already seen it happen before um, by lesser opponents. You know, Kerr Brook was good at the time, but he wasn't no undisputed champion like a, a Terrence Crawford was. Amir Khan was good at the time, unified champion at 140, but he wasn't an undisputed champion like Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is better skilled, so you don't think he'll take a challenge that lesser people have took? I don't think so. I think Terrence Crawford will actually try to fight a Canelo Alvarez because he don't want to fight a PBC fighter. You know, this is crazy, man. You know, I don't know what's up going on over there, but I'm guarantee, I'm guarantee it. I guarantee it's it's. I don't know what it, it, I think it's a. I don't know what it is going on over there at, uh, with top rank, man. It, but it's crazy over there. You only, I never seen anything like it, man. I, I'm just shocked. I don't know what to do. I, I don't. I can't. I can't comprehend the, the thought process going on. But let me know how you guys feel about it, though, man. Um, Dante talks about it around four minutes uh, on this video, man, and I was shocked by hearing it, man. <laughs> let me know how you guys feel about it, though, man. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire Geo Basking Empire. Peace. Geo Basking Empire.